All right, this is my first YouTube video, and I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB thumb drive that I'm going to use to install Windows 7 on my netbook. So we're going to get this, Windows 7, on one of these that doesn't have a CD, DVD, ROM drive. So that's uh, a hurdle for quite a few people, but we're going to take care of that. I have my 8 gig SanDisk Cruiser thumb drive plugged in. It is drive J. As you can see, it is empty. Here I have the DVD ISO image of the Windows 7 32-bit uh, edition. Unfortunately, the uh, Intel Atom processor that is in the Acer Aspire 1, the N270, I believe, it does not uh, doesn't support 64-bit processing so no big deal so to get started I'm going to mount this uh, ISO image I have a virtual CD DVD ROM drive I'm using Slysoft's um, clone drive so if I just right click this and mount it with virtual clone drive you can see down here that L has changed to the DVD image so open up your command prompt and you're going to type in disk part. That's going to open up the disk partitioner. If I would have just ran the command prompt as administrator in the first place, I wouldn't have had done that. So if you type in list disk, you can get a listing of all the available disks. Now I know that my thumb drive is disk 5, but if you don't know, um, one way you can do it is to select the disk. I'm going to select disk 0 and then I'm going to say detail disk. And it's going to show me here that it is my C and my D drive. Two different partitions. This is not the disk I want to mess with. So I'm going to go back to list disk. I'm going to select disk 5 okay first command you're going to want to uh, run is clean okay then we're going to say create partition primary then we're going to select the partition that we just created we're going to set it as active by typing in the active command then we're going to format it with the FAT32 file system and the command is format FS equals FAT32. This is going to take a, a few minutes so I'm going to pause the video and I will return uh, as it's finishing up. Alright our thumb drive is almost done formatting. Okay 100%. Okay so after it's done formatting you want to give the assign command and as you can see our drive letter has changed so just remember L is our source drive, K is our destination. We want to get the files from here to here. Okay so after we've assigned the thumb drive a drive letter which is now K we have to type in exit to leave disk partitioner and then we're going to give it the x copy l colon backslash star dot star slash s slash e slash f switches and then k is our destination drive enter and then you'll see the files off the cd are going to start to be copied to the k drive and there you can see it's already started putting them up there and this is going to take a little bit so I'm going to pause the video once again and I'll come back when it's finishing up. Alright, all the files are copied to our thumb drive and that's that's all there is to it. Um, now you need to make sure on your netbook that you select um, USB bootable device um, when you go to boot from the thumb drive and I have tested this, it does work on the Acer Aspire 1 
uh, Windows 7 installs flawlessly, all the hardware is detected, and it works really well. And uh, that's about it for this video, so uh, see you next time.